Ah, wait. Now can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Let's just wait for that to come through. I think I figured it out, but I have to wait for the stream to catch up. Ah, wait. Can you hear me? There we go. Can All right. you hear me now? Ah, wait. wait. Oh, that's coming through. Can you hear me now? Wait. Stop. There we go. All right. That's me. we done that. I'm not listening. Let's just wait for that to come through. Wait, that's... Uh, Okay, what happened there was I was recording a video the other day, like a collab video with someone. Um, they wanted the audio on a separate track to the video. Um, so I had to swap that out so then they could guess, whatever. Right, well, okay. So let me just rewind and I'll just pretend that, you know, this is the start. So welcome to the stream. Um, what I was trying to say is this is my Wordle clone. Uh, I say clone, you know, Wordle itself is based on an 80s game called Lingo. Um, but it was popular, um, and I wanted to see if I could do it over the kind of Christmas period, and I've already got a video on my channel, uh, Coding Wor uh, Wordle in 7 Hours. Um, so what I was saying, you know, I put it very eloquently while you were watching. Uh, that, so I've published it on the Google Play Store. Um, can I show... That. let me just go over to the um, thing so it's on the google play store and i kept on having two complaints and currently my google play rating annoyingly is um quite i'm just making sure there's nothing on this page that like any codes or like you know api keys i don't i think it should be fine so on my reviews here these are the public reviews of uh wordily is what i've called the game um there was a lot of one-star reviews because uh, there was not enough five letters, uh, five letter words in the dictionary. Um, that was the main complaint. Um, so what that was is if I uh, play this in the Unity editor, editor, uh, mute it again. Loud and clear now. Mute it again. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, never mind. Okay. Oof. You panicked me then, Victor. Um, okay, what was I saying? Thrown off. Yeah, so reviews. Uh, it doesn't. It, one of the bad reviews I was getting, which I've already fixed, um, but this is my kind of explanation for this, is that, so there's this list uh, here, word list. This is about 2,000 words long, um, and essentially this is... If you click daily word or random word, it's going to pick one of these and that's going to be the word that is the correct answer. Um, so I can see here on my game manager that the correct answer for uh, word seed 85896 is ambit, which, you know, is a word I've never heard of. Let's see what that means, ambit. The scope, extent or bounds of something. Well, there you go. That's the whole point of these games, you know. Um, yeah, so, so the word's ambit. Um, and then when I put in a word like aside, you know, it goes through and it checks that that's a correct word. If I just put in, you know, like anything, oh, hit the mic, a word, it'll say word not in list. Now that was a problem because this list is only 2000 words long. Um, people were complaining that, you know, they'd put in an answer that was a correct legit word, but it wasn't being accepted. So now I've got this full word list, which is uh, two, uh, sorry, nearly 10,000 words long. It's actually uh, this one. So if I open this up. So, okay, I'm just making sure. Can everyone hear me? And it's the stream, the stream going on. It seems to be going on. Um, so this this word is uh, this list is almost ten ten thousand words long. You know, it's got stuff that I wouldn't want to be an answer, such as uh, this is like zezel or zeets. Um, but you know, these are apparently legit words. If someone puts them in, I want that to be accepted and as an answer. Uh, but it won't be the actual correct answer. But you know, 
they can type that and get some uh, feedback from that. So if I um, go back to the game, so now uh, when I put in an answer, it checks from this list, but when it's actually picking a word to be the correct word, it picks from this list, so it's two separate lists. So long story short, that's how I've, I addressed this problem. Um, I should have done it sooner before it hit me in the reviews. That was a bit annoying. Uh, my fiance kept telling me that different words needed to be added because she was putting stuff in and it wasn't working. Um, but the last two reviews I've got are um, you know, great game, but it's frustrating not to be given the answer at the end of your wrong. Um, would be great if you got the correct answer afterwards. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, when you get the word, so um, a game manager, so it's ambits. Um, let's just get to the end of this. So we've run out of guesses. Uh, oh, says seeds. Seeds. Okay, so when I put in this last word, it comes up here. You've run out of guesses, but it doesn't tell you what the actual answer was. Um, so that's what I want to kind of address in this one. I also want to put in... Um, so that'll be the first thing I do. I don't think that's going to take me that long, really. Um, the main, and then after that, I want to maybe put some sound effects in because at the moment it's quite quiet. Um, you know, that's less important. People will probably put, like, I don't know, they might not want sound on it. Um, if I do put sounds on it, then they're going to want to have a way to turn them off. So I'll have to have an options menu of some sort. Um, I want to put some like uh, like Twitter, Facebook kind of lo like you my YouTube channel like logos so people can find me online. I have a, like a little bit of a some social links. So that's kind of my plan of action. But the first thing I'm going to do is sort out the um, the game finished screen and kind of work out how I can display the correct answer um, for what the word was. But the first thing I'm going to need to do, actually, is make sure that there's a period where the word hasn't changed and it's still there when this screen gets displayed. So I'm just going to check that that is, um, is the case. So if I go to random word, so the word is store. If I, um, you know... Oh. If I run out, make myself run out of guesses. You can see that I've picked this word because I can type it very quickly just by clicking. So, uh, although if I click too fast, it doesn't seem to register. So, seeds. Yeah, okay, so that, that should be fine. So, you've run out of guesses, and I can display kind of like here. I might, I'm going to redo this screen actually. I might make it. Um, I guess I don't, I don't want to cover the board because it's quite nice to see kind of the tiles that you had. So um, I might just bring bring it up slightly because depending on the different device size, this banner gets seems to get quite close to um, that. If I if I look at it on my phone, uh, bear with me. Seeds, seeds. Oh, I don't have the banner ad up at the moment anyway, but if you look at it on my my phone, it's a bit blurry. But like the banner fits here. Um and then the buttons are kind of like a bit too close to the banner. So I'm gonna move this up. There'll be some extra space and then I can display the the correct word. So let's get started on that. So we've got our game finished screen here, uh, which brings up this panel. So let's just make this panel a little bit bigger. Uh, it stretches out that way, which is fine. How do I want this to be? 
I want to make sure that, because I don't mind it covering the keyboard. Uh, I think that should, should be okay. I just don't want it to cover the game board. So I'm just making sure it's anchored in the correct place. It, it seems to, it seems to be okay. Um, just so I can test out my phone, what's the resolution of my f the screen resolution? Pixel for a screen resolution. 1080 by 2340. So, pixel for a 1080 by 2340. Okay, so that's actually the dimension of my my phone which seems about right so it's a lot narrower than you'd actually think so i could probably bring up um is this can i you know if i bring that down to there and then actually get the panel to fully fit because then this finished game finished Green. Uh, free aspect. Nah, see now that actually covers the. But like, no one's gonna have a phone that narrow, are they? Um. I mean, I want it to be as responsive as possible, so. I'm going to just reset that and then I'll have the panel stretches. I don't think anyone's going to have it that narrow. I just don't want it to go. Yeah, I just didn't want it to cover the, the game board. Uh, but I'll keep it like that. Right, so we've got a panel. Um, game screen, let's bring that up. So, panel. Um, so this panel is controlled by my game finished screen. So let's open up this script and then what we can do um, under our panel, I'm going to get a um, Text, what text is that? That text, okay. So, game finish message, just so I know. Um, I feel like I've got my uh, main menu. UI manager. Okay, so this is what comes up when you've guessed correctly. Game state lose, you've run out of guesses. So this is where I will store whatever the word was. Um, and the word was, it's on the game manager. Game screen, game manager, answer. I'm pretty sure I've got, so answer current guess. Do I have answer as string already? No. So if I, do I not have answer? Generate word answer to char array. So here I'm already, I'm generating the answer. 
Um, so what I can do is if I come back up and I make a uh, public string, uh, answer as string, and I get private set. I don't need that, do I? Uh, public string answer is string. Uh, it's a bit of a mess, this code, because I was just kind of like speed running it. Um, because I did it in, I, I made the game kind of in seven hours. Um, so uh, normally I like to have all my serialized fields and then my uh, properties. I've got some properties down here. Let's probably put them here. Dan, you must have outworked yourself for that much code to be on screen. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of code here. Um, answer as string. So if I come find answer, so here, what I'll do is I will do answer as string is equal to this list. to upper and then the answer which is a char array I could do that and then on our game finished screen UI manager does this have a reference to the game manager No, but actually I could make, could I make answer as a string static? I don't want to, if I, I don't want to make a reference just specifically for this. So I could do public uh, static string, uh, public is it read only stat. No, I'm not used to using read only. Um, I suppose read only doesn't. Okay, so uh, speed run tree music in the background. <laughs> um, so on our game UI manager, I can come up to here. So where it says you ran out of guesses. Uh, should be able to just insert the um, game manager dot answer as string and then a line break which I always forget what the uh, line break like characters are so backslash n I can never remember if it's forward slash n backslash n so UI manager A game manager answer is string. Um, I could do the answer was and I suppose it should be you run out of guesses and then you run out of guesses. And then I'll just do correct answer. Um, okay, that, I mean, that should be as simple as that, but it never is when you do this kind of thing. So, uh, so um, our game manager, hit play. Let's see what happens. So random word, so the word is an act, so I'll just, Make sure I don't um, type in an act because I want to fail seeds. Seeds. Okay. You run out of guesses, the correct answer, an act. Okay. I mean, that looks rubbish, but that is good. I like how that worked. That worked 
as I would have expected. I'm just going to copy that so then I can put it into this placeholder here. And then from that, I can now um, like sort this out. Uh, so anchor, I'm going to anchor it to the top of this. And I'll make it... Um, I don't understand the game. So the game is... Uh, there's a game called Wordle that's big uh, at the moment. Um, and what you do in the game is, so I've, let me go back. So there's a daily word, which you can do once a day, and that's fine. Um, and then or on this version, you can get a random word. So the random word today is bounce. If I type in the word um, boats and then hit enter, so I can see that uh, when a letter goes green, it means that the correct letter, so B, is in the correct place. So B is the first letter of the word. B is the first letter of the word. It's gone green. Same with O, uh, T, and S. U, uh, sorry, the letter A isn't in the word um, at all. There's no A in it, so it's gone gray. If I type in um, a different word, so aside, so you can see that the word S is in the letter. Uh, is in the word. Wait, so the letter S is in the word, but I put it in sort of like position two, but it's actually position five on the on the word bounce, which is the correct answer. So it's gone orange. Um, so by process of elimination, you eventually get to the correct answer, and you guess correctly. Uh, sorry, Vixie. So just to be sure, but I've not got another message underneath that, so I'm. Just to be sure of what. Uh, unless you're currently typing and it's something big. Um, so let's go back out of that. So I mean, this still looks rubbish. I think it needs a bit of uh, line spacing. Uh, line. Ah, there we go. Get the line spacing. Um, Doesn't look fair enough. Is this Wordle game harder to code? Well, I don't actually code Empires in the Grove. I'm just in the marketing team, but I guarantee that that it's harder to code Empires of the Undergrowth. Um, that is a very big game. Lots going on, and there's only three of them doing it. So, um, yeah. Okay, so this is kind of reserved for a banner, so I don't want to go below that. Um, oh, hey, Seth. Thanks for stopping by. Right, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna send your comment to uh, to my team. Oh, shoot. Where's that gonna open? Bear with me, I just want to close, I just want to, I don't know where, oh, that, that was going to open on the other screen, but I don't want to give away any sensitive information. Um, so yeah, I've, I've, so that's how the game works. That has seemed to work quite well. Um, if I hit play then, so you'll see that a banner comes up here. Uh, the banner's on the top of everything, really. I'd want it to be below. I could, I guess I could disable it when, um, when the message pops up, but I don't want to message to uh, mess around with it too much. Uh, the correct answer was condo. I mean that 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 looks fine. I mean it's not you know it's not beautiful, but it it worked. It sorted itself out. That's answering what that other what that comment was um, 
complaining about, uh, which is a genuine complaint. It is frustrating if you've been guessing, you don't know what um, what the word is. Uh, I hate these buttons. I don't know whether I should do something about the buttons. What could I do with the buttons to make them nicer? Well, re I mean, realistically, I want to get a, um, a copy result. I want to get a share icon that does something else. Uh, play again. Main menu. I mean, right. I mean, that they're fine for now. Um, Save the project. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to do, uh, along with game finished screen, which, no, that's the message. Uh, let's get rid of the screen. Get rid of the game screen. Go back to the main menu. So I want to put some... Um, some social media icons onto the screen, probably just Twitter and YouTube, maybe. So, uh, oh, the wind outside is awful. Um, so let's do that. I'll do that next. That's a nice little simple task. Great new. Uh, I'll do five, twelve. I don't. They don't need to be that big. So two, five, six by two, five, six. Let's get the uh, Twitter logo. I don't want to download the guide, I want to download the brand asset. Why is that sending me back to the top? Resources. Now those download links are just going back to the top of the page. They're not actually linking. If you look down in the bottom left, uh, hmm. well, that's weird. Uh, okay, uh, we'll go somewhere else for their logo then. Oh, we've got external, external brand guidelines. Are the in, in here maybe? Do ba do ba do. Uh, is there like a link to a Dropbox or something? Sometimes you get that when you're in these brand kits. Uh, don't add anatomy. <laughs> I'm just going to get it off a different site on a uh, Twitter logo download. I know there's like a download uh, seek logo. Why is it not? Oh, this is, this is a different website. Well, I don't know. That worked. Whatever. Um, oh, that was squeaky. Uh, social icons circle. I want. I just want the logo. Uh, that's a PNG and the white version. And I will drop uh, Photoshop. Just drop that in. Go to background. Just make it a little bit smaller to give it some breathing room. And then let's save that into the project folder. Uh, Unity projects, not Wordle. Copyright, don't want, it's definitely not Wordle. Uh, assets, graphics, 
Oh, no. ENG. And we'll do the Twitter logo 256 by 256. So we can save that and then uh, YouTube logo. Brand resources of this logos. Monochrome logos. I'm pretty sure I've downloaded these. I need to store these somewhere. Probably downloaded all these various logos many times. Uh, light. Dark. I just wanted the... I'd have cut it off. I didn't want the full YouTube logo. Let's drag that in here. Drop that in. Make it kind of, you know... Even footing, just so they're around about the same size. Let's get rid of that. So there's the YouTube logo. Uh, graphics, PNG, YouTube logo. YouTube logo two five six by um personal project. What do you mean by personal project? Uh, this isn't available to the Patreons, if that's what you um, are referring to. I've had a couple of people sign up and think that that uh, that was my bad. I've changed under the uh, oh no in the description under the video. Um, I've put a little disclaimer. Uh, my Patreon's for just tutorial files. Um, and I'll give some personal stuff away as well, but for this, uh, it is published on the Play Store. It's making a little bit of money. Um, and there was a little bit of fuss about people making Wordle clones, kind of in the press. Everyone jumped on this guy for doing it himself, so I'm a bit wary about giving out a fully, you know, a publishable full version of it. However, if you do want to pursue making your own version of Wordle, uh, be my guest, get in touch. I'll make sure, you know, I can send you scripts and bits of code and help you with it. Um, but in terms of like getting the full project file, it's not something I'm, I'm going to be doing. Um, so main menu. So I need to bring up daily game, endless seed, random word. Times game. How to? I think if I bring these up and then maybe like here have the um have the icons. Oh, that's. Tiny. Uh, Twitter logo. Why is that so small? Make this bigger. All right, no, yeah, this is just for me. This is just my little project. Uh, No, my my actual work. I I work for a games company, but we're uh, it's just marketing. I do marketing for them. I don't help with their game. Uh, 
pre-existing game. Yeah, so I, I've I've already made uh, I made a video on this. Uh, so if you go over to my channel, I did a video uh, just a month ago talking about how I kind of uh, made this project over Christmas, and then uh, I published it on the App Store. And I'm you know, this is just like you know I'm 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 essentially making a patch. For it here, um, I want to know why that's not displaying above uh, background. It's not displaying at all. Why is that not? Uh, I need to UI image. All right, okay. Uh, oh, there we go. I don't know what was going on there. Well, there really, this needs to be a needs to be a button, doesn't it? But not an image. Uh, because I want people to be able to click on it. Button. Um, Twitter. Button. Is working for a company your own. Uh, the goal. I mean, you know, in the very far future, uh, you know, it'd be great to work for myself, but uh, I'm really enjoying my job at the minute. We just. Uh, out of the trailer for a game that's done really well. Uh, the trailer's done really well. So that was exciting. Um, so yeah, I mean, for, for now, I'm very happy to just be working away for someone else. Uh, and they're very chill as well. It's a very good company to work for. Which, in the current climate, when you look at different video game companies, um, that's not always the case. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in the press at the minute about, you know, these big companies just being awful to work for, so I'm kind of glad that's not the case for me. But it's good working on this sort of stuff in my spare time as well. Um, something to do in the evenings when not much going on. It's always good. Uh, public serialize field private button uh, Twitter button YouTube button and then and on enable we can do um, YouTube button dot on click and subscribe uh, on click social button on click this is gonna have to be YouTube Button create uh, I had to put in the Oh, uh, on uh, 
I thought it was on click was the uh, event. Is it not on click? Oh wait, and you don't subscribe to it like that, don't you? Um, it's dot uh, add listener, and then it would be. On clip, uh, private void on click YouTube. So I always do this in the inspector, and this is what you get for trying to do it through code. It's probably just better to do it in the inspector. Private Unity action. I don't know what I did there. Let's just check this is working. Uh, if not, I'm just going to do this in the inspector. Clicked YouTube button. Hey, Jason. Am I done? Uh, no, I'm not done yet. Uh, if that's a unit event, it's click add listener. Yeah, I got there in the end. Uh, because I normally do it in the inspector. I don't know why... Um, I've decided to do it through code, but let's just check that's working. Uh, play. Console. And I've not, I always do, like, does anyone else do this? You do something in code, you get too excited, way too ahead of yourself, and then, um, hit play and you forgot to actually do this is this is why i like to do things through code um because it's very easy to just forget to do something in the inspector like dragging in the reference to the button um now we could do the twitter button on click twitter button Twitter button, clicked the Twitter button. <laughs> uh, what's I looking for? Um, okay, so we've got our on Twitter buttons now. I'm sure someone knows um, how to do this, but uh, how to open link in Unity on Android. Application.open URL. So you don't need to know bits of code off your head, you just need to know what to Google, and then you can copy and paste it. Um, so this is Twitter, so twitter.com, twatter, uh, twitter.com, slash, down, pass, and it has to have the underscore because someone else has got my username and I've, I've even politely asked them if they'd consider swapping, but they don't really use their Twitter account, but they said no. Um, so I'll forever have the underscore. Oh yeah, I knew that about print. I what I like about debug.log is that, you know, you can do the uh, warning ones as well. Um, and then, um, I don't, I don't know actually, do, do prints, um, does print go into the log in a build? Or does it just come into the console, like within Unity? 
obviously it's good if you do leave some of these in. Players can get logs and send them to you. Google Foo, the most powerful programming skill, no doubt. Yeah, one hundred percent. Like, um, I've seen a lot of like beginners. Um, you know, I'm I'm only been programming myself like just over a year. Um, so I mean, even this is how I thought when I first started that you know, how am I ever going to learn this much code? Um, you know, you don't need to learn all of the code. You just need to know how to Google stuff. Like I knew I wanted to open a URL. Um, so Google Foo, yeah. Never, I've not heard that phrase before. Um, I quite like it. Um, yeah, we've got our uh, application dot open URL, and then this will be YouTube dot com slash down pass without the underscore. Um, and then I'm just going to make sure I've spelled all of these correctly by opening them up, make sure the links work. Yeah, that one worked. Oh, that went down the wrong. Oh God, that hurt. I just swallowed so much. Um, yeah, let's just, uh, I don't know if this will work in the editor. I don't see why it wouldn't, but uh, let's just check. Uh, Twitter. It did. Okay, that's good. So that links to my Twitter. This links to my YouTube channel. Um, and I should probably um, add a bit of text to this just so people know what they're there for uh, UI text and get in touch get in touch uh, use my font asset comfortor and a quick standard thing I'm using for this Let's bring this down. Auto size, get in touch. Uh, does that look too small? I don't want to like go overboard. Get in touch and then bring those down. Maybe this will, um, be fine. Get in touch. How does that scale? Uh, free aspect. Okay, that looks, that seems to work quite well. Daily word, random word, timed game, get in touch. Uh, Go back over to my pixel size. Um, it's save. What's going on down here? I'm trying to create new. Uh, that's from the ad. I don't think any of these I need to worry about. I can get rid of that though. I don't need that anymore. That was while I was testing. Um, oh, I don't know if I should be showing that. I don't probably shouldn't be showing those. Just forget you saw that if it was anything. Um, well, technically, if you're using my unit ads, would I in, in your game? Wouldn't I get um, your money? So I don't know why you'd do that, but I probably shouldn't show that. Let's just get out of the ad manager script. I'm not actually sure, kind of like what can be done with that kind of stuff. Pretend that didn't happen. Um, sorry, I'm just catching up on the chat. Uh, that'll work. Required attribute upon fields and it shouts at me if I've forgotten anything. That's a good idea. I'd be interested to see how that works. Flight apprehension. You can also write print right there. Google Foo. You're making a building, you don't need logs anymore. You can 
right debug.logger dot log enable equals false. Ah, see, I never knew that. Um, what I like about having certain things is that, like I said, you can get the log from players. It depends how buggy you think your game's going to be, or if you know there's known bugs, include them, I guess, in a build, and then strip them out later on when you patch it. Um, but yeah. So, uh, oh, where's my... Ugh. I just added that text in play mode, and it's gone. <laughs> Lominek. Uh, why, why, I, that's one of my biggest gripes, and it's completely my fault, like, you know, I should have learned, um, uh, you, uh, just, just, why, that's such a pain in the butt. Get in touch, and I put the wrong text in, I want it to be text mess pro. Auto size, make it a bit bigger. I can't remember what that went up to. I think it was like 100. Quicksand. Definitely not in play mode. Move those down. <sighs> Go away. I shut my emails down. Um, main menu. Let's apply all of those changes because I quite like how that's looking. Um, now I can't remember what something at the start I said. Um, I wanted to work on show what the word was done. Uh, get in touch buttons, like social icons done. Um, I'm sure it'll come back to me, but in the meantime, I'm gonna go on to my how to play. Uh, screen and see if this needs refreshing um, i think everyone kind of knows though but i've added the timed mode since um try to guess the five letter word Try to guess the five letter word using your previous guesses to give you clues. If you get a letter in the correct, did you know in prefaces you could change what color the edit is tinted when in play mode? It can be a useful visual clue that you were in the wrong mode and you changed the save. No, again, never knew that. I've never, I've seen people's editors like that, but I've never known exactly what that uh, is. I might do that. Preferences, you can change what colour. You're just a, a fountain of knowledge, Jason. Um, colours? Play mode tint. What's this looking like? Ugh. Okay, I mean, that's very, you know, I'm very aware there that... Um... Oh, what a genius. Colour do I want it to be? Oh, that's good. I like that. That's a good. Very cool. Yep. Every day is a learning day. Um, try to guess the five letter word using your previous guesses to give you clues. If you get a letter in the correct position, the tile turns green. The letter is in the word, but in the wrong position, the tile goes yellow. And if the letter is in the word, the tile goes gray. In daily, everyone has the same word, so try not to spoil it. 
in the random mode, why not challenge your friends to see if they could beat the wood by sharing your seed? Oh. In timed mode, you have three minutes to answer, to guess uh, as many words as possible. How many can you guess? This is getting a bit too, it's getting a lot of words here, isn't it? Um, maybe I can put it in a scroll thing, scroll box. In time mode, you have three minutes. Timed mode. Guess as many words as possible in three minutes. I'm going to try and cut this down. Random mode. Can you guess the random word? Challenge your friends by giving them the seed. Hopefully, people all know what that means. I might, I may revisit this. Uh, I had any complaints about this, so daily mode. One word, six chances. Everyone gets the same word. Try to guess the five letter word using memory guess to give you clues. If you get a letter in the correct position, the tile turns green. If a letter is in the word but in the wrong position, the tile goes yellow. And if the letter isn't in the word, the tile goes grey. Oh yeah, you can add colors, can't you? Uh, I did this in my um, in another video of mine um, in my in my Stardew Valley type weather system. Um, actually, I don't know whether that would look good. I mean, I can give it a try. Uh, Tell to. I'm thinking this color green, like a. Contrasty sort of stuff. Let's see what I can see what it looks like. Um, do I have uh, my game manager for this? Let's just make a note of these colors green. Yellow. Gray.
Um, sorry, what was it then? Uh, game manager. Add description. Color equals, uh, how do you do hex codes in HTML? Ah, uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, does it need the hash? Yep. Hmm, yeah, you can't really read that. Uh, I mean, I can make it darker, but I think that's fine. But, I mean, people at this point know exactly what they're doing um, in the game. Good tip about the color swatches. Uh, there was a reason that I did it a game manager. I think it was because I wanted to have just one place I could globally change them. Uh, can you, if you do a... Um, If you do a swatch and then save it and then reference that swatch color somewhere else, then update the swatch color, will that update across the project? Um, I've done it here just on the game manager, literally just so I can change them kind of on the fly and all the tiles will kind of programmatically adapt to that. Um, that's the timed mode. Um, completely forgot what the other thing I said I wanted to do was. Uh, I go back to, on myself for my live stream history. And I'm just wait, muted wait, stop, for stop. so long. Right, that's muted on that. Wait, that's that's not. Okay, what happened there was no, I was recording a video the other day, like a collab video. I've published it on the that is the correct answer. Um, yeah, so so the words, um, but you know, these are yeah. apparently legit words. If someone puts them in, I want that to be accepted. And as I, um, like, I don't know, they might not want. So that's kind of my plan of action. But the first thing I'm going to do is sort out the um, if I do put sounds on it, then oh, sound, of course. <laughs> Oh, I just completely forgot what I was doing. Um, do I want sounds? Like, would people want sounds? I suppose it's a an option. I quite like the idea as well of adding an options menu. What you're talking about, Jason, about like different themes and stuff. Um, it'd be quite nice, I guess, for players if there was an options and they could choose what colors they want like for the background to be and the tiles etc um maybe not i won't do that now i've never actually worked with like a color like you know like a player side color wheels and letting them choose i really like uh in subnautica they um you can color your uh your sub and it comes up with a full kind of like spectrum hue thing. All I can really think that they're doing there is they've got the grid image, and then when the player clicks, the you know it's is it testing there the color at that pixel, or yeah, I don't know. I've never actually looked into that. Um, might be something to do unless someone knows what. Um, like what would be the easiest way of letting someone else control? Um, I suppose you could have like RGB sliders one way. Um, but yeah, in Subnautica, this is what I really like this, and I, it's something I, I've not looked into, but I'd like to. Um, Subnautica color picker. Was that a risk of rain too? 
New survivor. Customize the seam off. Just so everyone knows what I'm talking about if you haven't seen it, I quite like that. You can go to this console. And then they've got this. Uh, are they going to use it? So they've got this. Um, you know, just like a color palette thing that you'd find in like Photoshop or whatever. Um, it'd be quite interesting to see how that's actually done. Uh, maybe it is, it probably is just sampling at a certain point of a texture. There might be some way to do it programmatically. I don't know. Um, anyway, that's a sidestep. I'm just trying to think, do I want sounds in this? Uh, I'll tell you who's got some good sound assets that are free. Kenny Assets is a great place for uh, game assets. Doing like, yeah, interface sounds, nothing like massive in the background. My audio interface sounds, let's preview some of these. I don't know, if, hang on, do I have desktop sound? Yeah. They were very loud. I could always, I'm, I'll put them in, I'll have a look, and then if it's crap, I'll take it back out. I'll just get rid of it. Uh, sometimes you've got to go down that path before you can uh, decide whether that path's for you or not. Why do I have... Uh, like Discord is a little bit crazy. <sighs> right, okay, sounds. And also sounds will bloat the um bloat the kind of app size which isn't something I wanna do necessarily, but let's see. Let's just see what happens. I quite like that, just for like tapping on um, buttons. It'd be good if you got some feedback when you press letters on the keyboard, actually. That is something that um, I feel is lacking. Something like... I quite like that or tapping on the keyboard. Uh, can I open with Audition? It's a lot louder here in Audition than it was here. That's fine. Uh, can Unity deal with OG files? Does Unity support OG files? Any type of file will be imported as native. Any type of compressed audio files must be decompressed by the CPU while the game is running. 
If stream is checked, the audio is decompressed on the fly. Otherwise, it's decompressed completely as soon as it loads. As a general rule, from compressed audio is best for long files, while native is better for short sound effects. So let's put it, uh, let's save it out as a WAV. Dot WAV. Call this keyboard click underscore Kenny, just so I know where it's come from. See, these are all CCO, no attribution needed. Obviously, it's good to attribute them. Um, I'm not going to do it initially, so I'm going to need to put like a credits window in. But let's just get it working first. And that might, oh, that might be something I'll do in the future. Uh, F. Unity projects, not Wordle, assets, sounds. Plan on using a mixer to control sound effects. Um, yeah, I'm, I don't think I'm going to have any background sound in. I've not, and I've not played much with the. Um, Mixers uh, in my bigger projects. I've actually been using uh, FMOD, so I've not actually done much natively within Unity Audio. Uh, I really like FMOD. Uh, oh, I've got a lot of tabs open. The reason I like FMOD is that you can do, you know, there's quite a lot of really good stuff that you can do with it. Um, and it's free up to a certain point. Uh, I can't remember the exact terms off the top of my head, but it is free. Um, Sounds. Let's listen. You can press on the Streaming. I think. Can stream. Wasn't that a WAV? Um, keyboard is on the game screen, keyboard, on screen keyboard. Uh, let's do a serialized field, private audio clip, uh, key sound. Yeah, I really I I started messing with F mod for a game project. I was trying to do like um uh what do you call it like a rhythm sort of style game. Um, so that's kind of where I came across like to try and learn that. And actually, yeah, it was hard to get your head around initially, but it was actually really easy towards the end. I I, I did quite like it. Um, keyboard tap. Ah. Oh. On key press, this is where I need to play the sound. Um, well, there's on backspace and submit answer. So I'll make a method play sound. Um, and then I'm just going to rob code from my other project. Uh, F, Unity projects, one hour game, assets, scripts, audio manager. You're about to move audio manager. Oh no, I don't want to move it, do I? That was silly of me. Uh, copy. I'll just put it directly into my scripts folder.
The name FX Manager does not exist in the current context. Of course it doesn't, because why would it? Um, I think that's because I was using the global audio pitch. So I didn't keep this generic enough. This was specific to um, this was specific to the game I was making. Uh, this doesn't need to be our location because it's 2D, so just play sound. And then in play sound, I can do uh, audio manager dot play sound um, audio. What did I call it? Key sound. Play sound. Key sound. Uh, min pitch one. Max pitch one point one. Just to get a bit of variation in it. Uh, volume one should be fine. Oh, this is game changing. I can't believe this. I didn't know this sooner. The pitch doesn't seem to be changing there. Oh no, yeah, that's changing. That's good. A little bit loud. Wait, is it loud? Uh, mm. I guess it'll depend on the phone. I want it to be so. Uh, how loud is my computer being though? Because that's full. Plus, I've got a dial on my speaker, so that might sound louder than it actually is. Um. I think at this point I may want to build it to my phone. Uh, maybe I'll... It doesn't need to be that loud, so... Put a bit more variation in and I can do 0.75f. I mean, yeah, I quite, I quite like that. Uh, maybe I want to. Um, I want to allow players to toggle it. Um, so let's get free icons. Free CCO icons because I don't want to. <sighs> like a little audio symbol down a free pick I just don't want to have to attribute at the minute I mean I could just make my own couldn't I uh, audio symbol just so I'm not shooting blind It'll be simple enough to add, um, make my own. Uh, let's go with this. I'll just put the black there just so I can um, see what's happening. Um,
fill. Let's get a pure white. No stroke. Rounded corners. Um, which, why is that not? Uh, I don't need rounded corners. I should probably do this in Illustrator, but it's probably a bit too overkill. Do do do. Uh, is this even necessary? That's what, you know, asking myself, but I think it's worth doing. Um, cause some people will like the feedback and some won't, so if they can, so if they can sort, if they can get rid of it, then that's great. I mean, this looks. I don't. I don't think this looks very good. My little, my little symbol. I mean, I guess the point across, it's not very good, but not the point of this video, not this stream. Um, and then I need a version of this with um, the line through it. So audio on. And I can do uh, I think people will get the point. Let's just see how this looks. It may, it may not be good enough, but uh, audio off. Um, and then I'm going to get the, let's copy this button, put it under our keyboard. Why would make sense for this button? Are people going to know what this is? I suppose you just click on it and find out. Really, it should be in its own options menu, but... Um... No, I'm going to leave the sound on. They can deal with it, and then... Separately, uh, I'll make a button. Uh, I'll make an options menu, I think. Um, yeah, I quite like that sound. I don't know about music. Uh, hmm. It was how's performance with those sounds? Yeah. I've locked it at 60, because it, it doesn't need to be running as fast as it can uh, for battery. Realistically, it could probably go to 30. The reason I've locked it to 60 is because when you type in a word at 30 frames, that animation looked a bit just sluggish. Um, 60 is a bit cleaner. Uh, I think if I did have some background sounds, I'd probably just want like um free sound. Probably just want um, like some just relaxing sounds, like forest sounds, but kind of like calm, calm app.
just really like relaxing and kind of mindful, you know, but. So I quite like that. That's. But if I start to add in sounds like this, I'm going to need to. Um, I definitely will need a menu to mute stuff. That was loud. So I really like this. Just think, you know, you're on the, you're on your long commute, guessing some words, and you've got this, uh, this relaxing sound. Hmm. Let's try it. It's 200 meg. I will definitely be compressing that. I think, did I just mess up the stream? I, I, I seem to be frozen. God damn it. Oh no, I'm moving again. Okay. Uh, oh, maybe it's lagging because I'm downloading that. Uh, In the meantime, let's put our let's start on our options menu. Um, so I guess we're gonna have it kind of like the main menu with just some buttons. Nope. Uh, oh no. Main menu. Go to the how to play panel. Oh, cheers, Seth. I think I, I refreshed the live stream page and then. I got a bit of an error message. Um, okay, what I, what I do need is... Back to Kenny Assets. I need a cog shape. Uh, and he's got a UI pack. Uh, UI. Just need a little gear icon, which is one there, or the settings, for example, that'd be quite good. Just realised I've been sat very hunched. <laughs> P and G, Y, uh, oh, no, it could just be one. One size, uh, well, what was it called? Settings, cog, scroll, share. Yeah. Oh, I might use, I might use some of these. Return would be quite good. Oh, but that might, I don't know, if, uh, arrow left. Arrow left's gonna be useful. Um, help if these were visible, wouldn't it? Um, import home. Gear, there we go, gear. It, it had a spanner, or a wrench, was it a wrench? Wrench, I think I like the, the wrench. Arrow left, they're gonna be quite useful. Go to community projects. Assets, graphics, um, probably get a bit more organized in this folder. We'll do UI, although technically this is all UI, so I don't know why I did, I've done that, but uh, pop them in. For the game screen, I have this button up here that 
allows you to go back. I'm going to get rid of that and actually have um, the... Get rid of the text of the quit button, and then I can put our arrow left in. Probably make that a bit bigger. Well, that's very blurry, but I have zoomed in quite a distance. It looks okay there. Um, get rid of our game screen again. Uh, so on our main menu, I suppose we could have a little settings icon up in the top right, which will be a button, which isn't what I wanted to do. I need to copy one of our buttons. Hmm. Why this so why have why have I disabled them? YouTube logo. Um this is now our uh, options settings menu. So uh, settings button. I'm trying to think where where's good for this that's gonna not get cut off like that okay so I think that's a good place so if we just anchor it up there and then Go there, make sure that can be clicked. Although at the minute it's just gonna, oh no, it won't just open thingy. So that can be clicked, that's fine. Um, and then I guess we can just do what we've done here with this how to play menu. Call this options. And go over to our main menu. Add in another button for our options button. Just realized they should be lowercase. Options button. And we can do options button dot on click dot add listener. On click options button. Um, I need to remove the listeners on disable as well, don't I? Um, YouTube button dot on click dot remove all listeners. Twitter button dot on click dot remove all listeners. Options button dot on click dot remove all listeners. So we're going to need a oh, wait, hang on, where's our Oh, how to play dot set active. No, oh, it's up there, of course. <laughs> Serialize field. 
private game object. Options menu. So set active equal to the opposite of whatever our options menu dot active in hierarchy is. And then go back to Unity. Now we've got our main menu. Our buttons have been um How did our buttons lose their references? Uh, options menu goes there. Options button goes there. So if I hit play, our options button. Okay, so options, set, enable, our panel, how to play. So this is gonna be uh, options. Description, what's that? Okay, that's the button. Don't need the button, because I'm gonna let it, um, let that click a bit. Uh, description, um, don't need that tech, so I'm gonna to have to put some sliders and buttons in, etc. Um, but first, I'm just gonna to nip to the loo because I've been streaming for quite a while now, uh, nearly two hours. Um, just bear with me two seconds. Okay, I'm back. All right, let's uh, let's get this options menu done, and then I think that's probably uh, all I have time for. Um, options text. I'm just gonna move my mic. Sorry if it gets loud. It's just um, it gets in the way of my keyboard. 
Um, so, uh, under our panel, let's get a UI. Um, let's get a slider. Oh, UI slider. Uh, just volume slider. Forget which button it is for the rect tool. Okay, I'm not a big fan of the slider button, so we might change. Let's see if that Kenny Assets has got any any good um, buttons in it. Mm. Got the tile. Did I have anything rounder? Wait, why is that not? Oh, what am I filling in there? Oh, that's the fill. Of course it is. I don't want that. That needs to just be UI right uh, background. If I just mess this up, quite possibly. I just want to make sure this is working. I don't know if I've just broken it. No, all right, that seems to be working. Um, in terms of the slider handle, uh, I wonder if I could use the key. And then untick. Uh, it doesn't have to be preserve aspect. And then we've got Yeah, I quite I quite like that. Uh how's this gonna work with touch though? Um I mean it should work with touch, it's it's set up that way, so um Right. So our options menu can have uh, a new script on it. So options menu. Uh, let's open up this. So I'm gonna have a serialized field, private void, um, no, no. Private, board, private slider, and this can be the volume slider. And then we need a public void um, on slider changed. And I think this takes in a U int. Oh no, it takes in a float, doesn't it? Uh, on slider change float um, value. Then we can have a public static um, global volume, which is get uh, public static float global volume get private set uh, 
and then I could just say global volume is equal to value. Awake, we can do um, global volume is equal to, uh, well, you know, if player press dot has key global volume then we can do global volume is equal to player press dot get float I'm going to copy that just to make sure it's correct else global volume is equal to 1f and then we can do uh, global volume is equal to value and then player prefs dot set float global volume and I'll set that to our global volume so that way when a player quits and comes back they don't have it's not resetting their uh, volume um, and if this is the case I'm also going to need to set the well regardless of this I'll have to set volume slider dot value equal to the global volume so that all adds up and I need to do that regardless so let's put that oh volume slider is equal to uh, dot value is equal to global volume I want to do if volume slider is not equal to null, then do that. Um, I want to do range. Uh, oh no, sorry. Um, I also just want to make sure global volume is equal to math f dot clamp zero to one uh, global volume just to make sure that the it doesn't go above one because I don't want it to get like crazy loud um, so on slider change global volume is equal to value and then on our on screen keyboard I can do um, play sound and instead of passing through our volume uh, uh, what do you call it? This value here, I can just do global um, on screen. Uh, what did I call it? Options menu dot global volume, and then I can go back over here. Got our slider, which I could just uh, once that's recompiled, dragging our volume slider. Uh, Then we can do I just want a bit of text above this. So let's go our options text, copy that, bring it down, go to the left hand side, uh, volume. Doesn't need to be that big, and I also want it to be white max. I suppose I could do music volume and um, SF, like sound effects volume. Cause people might want the keyboard tap in, but not the music. So I'll do music volume with this slider. And I'm gonna make the fill area. Uh, can I make that thinner? Music volume. Okay. Music volume and then uh, music volume slider. Copy this, move it down. Then I will rename this to FSFX slider. Um, sound effects 
volume. Is that how you spell volume? It, you know, like when you look at a word and it looks just wrong all of a sudden. Volume, of course it is. Uh, volume slider. So actually, I want to make. Uh, Need to rename global volume to sound effects volume because I'm using that here. So, um, well, not format. What am I doing? Uh, refactor rename to SFX volume, and then back in options menu. I will do on SFX slider changed on volume slider changed and then I'll do SFX volume And then music volume, duplicate this, we'll do music volume. That word is volume just doesn't look right to my eyes. It's very weird. Um Okay. So do the music volume slider sound effects slider. And then SFX slider, we can get um, on value changed options, options menu. Um, this is the, that should be music volume changed, volume slider, options menu. Sound effects slider changed. Okay, let's try that then. Um, that should technically work. Let's just see. So if I go into a game, that's the sound of the keys there. Then if I go back to the options menu, so mute them. And then if I leave and restart the game, then sound effects volume is set to zero as we'd expect. 3.9, some word. Okay, that's working. So now, uh, 
So actually, I'm going to put the zero, the default at 0 0.5, just so it's not, you know, I don't want to blow anyone's ears off if uh, they're launching the game for the first time. Um, I need to make sure that, oh wait, if I hit play, does the options menu start open? Does it, a minute, yep, yeah. so I need to make sure that that's... I need to make sure that's closed in the unawake. Options menu set active to false, just in case I leave it open in a build. Um, I don't know what other options I could have. I mean, eventually, you know, like I said, adding colors. Um, I got color picker, but I think that's a little bit beyond what I can do at the minute. Um, Ooh, new. What's going on? So is that I'll parent the sliders to the text because Obviously, I want them to move together. I want them to always be together. Um, and now I can make this panel a bit smaller. Bring everything back down. This looks a bit rubbish, doesn't it? But. Um, as long as it works, free aspect. I don't think, I mean, people may play it on the tablet. I think that's fine. That's kind of, you know, what I wanted. Uh, Pixel 4a. Okay, so I've got my options menu. Music, volume. Uh, let's try and get that sound that I downloaded this. Uh, I don't know how this is gonna go. I can always take it back out. Um, you know, I just want this to be a bit mindful, hence the bird sounds. It's a bit loud at the end. I don't know, do you, know, do you think this is a bit rubbish? It'd be good to have like, you know, uh, bird sound and then the ocean and like people pick. Uh, oh, I don't mean to hit save, right. So let's just, I'll just see what it's like. Bird sounds. Estimated file size. See, I'm also worried about it just bursting the thingy up. Um, like, making the project really big. Format sense, 192 KBS. Thank <laughs> you. 
Wait, where did I just save that to? Oh, I'll put it into the one hour game project. This isn't what I wanted to do. Uh, scripts. It sounds dot mp3. Let's get that back into where we want it to go. Oh, God. I've been sat a bit too long. Good sound. Play. Um, where's best to have this play? And I guess the, the game manager, the audio, um, audio source, and then, uh, hmm. Do I want this on the game manager? It's not really. It's not really the correct place. I mean, is it the correct place? I don't see why not. Um. Oh, these. Th this. This is a mess. It's again. Apologies for anyone looking at this code. It's because I originally just coded this. I was trying to do like a one day thing just to see whether I could. Um, it turns out I could, but I wasn't focusing on clean code and everything was just a bit of a mess. Uh, really, I need to go through and kind of refactor, um, refactor all of this. But uh, should I do an audio clip array? I'm only gonna have the one for now, um, so I'll have to rework this in the future. But private audio clip um, back, BG sound, and then. Um, guess what I need to get a reference to the private audio source, uh, audio source, and then I can, oh, and then come down to awake, uh, audio source is equal to get component audio source audio source dot clip is equal to our bg sound audio source dot volume is equal to the options menu dot uh, music volume audio source dot play is that is that it is that what I need um clip I got our bird sounds hit play But, uh, hmm. Because that's going to be constantly playing, I need to... Um... Oh, 
We're gonna have to make an event so when just specifically when the music volume is changed, I'm gonna need to then update the currently playing audio source to the new volume. Um, I don't need to do that with the FSX volume because they'll change it, they'll click, and it spawns a new instance of it. So that should, that's that's fine. Um, so public static. Unity action that sends a float uh, on music volume changed. On music volume changed. If anyone is subscribing to it, then let's send our SFX volume through. And now on our game manager, uh, we can do options menu dot uh, on music volume changed plus equal change music volume. Make sure we unsubscribe on disable. Now I can say that uh, if this is changed, um, I can do audio source dot volume is now equal to the value. Um, and I'll just check the audio source isn't null. Uh, yep. I mean that should that should be okay. Uh, audio clip, bird sounds. Let's try that. I'm gonna go to our options menu. That works. Yeah, that's good. Good DJ. I'm gonna make sure that that's starting at the same time as the collect the correct volume as well. Just to be safe, I'm gonna set that sound playing in start. The reason being in our options menu, we set this, uh, we, we, we set the sound in awake and then we're trying to access it in the awake of the other script. Uh, I could put the default execution order kind of thing on um, just to make sure that awake on the options menu is called sooner than on our game manager, but I could also just private start and call it here instead. Just a safe way of doing that. So um, it's got music volume. And probably you could just bird sound. Maybe I'll swap it out with actual music. Uh, or like ocean sounds and like I said, let people choose which they'd rather listen to. Um mm. Let's see. Ocean sounds.
that was just noise, wasn't it? Quite like that. That was quite nice. Seventy five megabytes. It'll be another uh another change. Uh, process it on Adobe Audition. And then I think that's gonna be it. I think I'll leave it there. Uh should have some buttons. Um I think how I'm going to let people choose. I mean, for now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to package this up, make sure it's all kind of working, um, and then I'll I'll add some more sounds in if I need to. Um, so I think I've been streaming for two hours and twenty minutes. Uh, I think I will. I think I'll jump off now. Um, Kind of finish that in my own uh, my own time because I'm I'm undecided whether I want to and I need to start building it, which um, requires me like moving around, getting my cables, uh, connecting my phone, putting in the keys. It's a bit of a pain to build to your phone. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something useful. Um, I know I did. Uh, even just you know being able to change the color of the screen, uh, it's very good. And prompt me to know when i'm in play mode but yeah thanks for watching thanks for joining thanks for all your comments uh it was great some really useful stuff came out of that um yeah catch you in the next one bye